Some new technology is being used right here in Utah to help identify the causes of genetic diseases in babies. Fox 13 tech reporter Jordan Hogan explains how this works and how it may save lives. Last time I was here, he was on a ventilator uh -huh. and kind of sick. He'd just been born. He was unexpectedly sick, so Today's it's nice to see him doing this well. While many babies are born without issues on a daily basis, there are quite a few who were born early and with some complications. Those babies end up in the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, or NICU, which is where Dr. Sabrina Malone Jenkins works. A lot of the times we don't know what the underlying condition is. Really, there is a wide variety of causes and rarely are any of them the same. Researchers say on a global scale, about 7 million infants are born with serious genetic disorders each year, and it can be difficult for doctors to treat them if they're not sure what's wrong. It's estimated that about 20% of the newborns in what's called a level three high intensity newborn intensive care unit um, have some form of genetic disease. So Dr. Mark Yandel and his team developed a tool that sequences a baby's genome to find out what genetic disease is making it sick. It starts with doctors taking a blood sample, which is then analyzed by a program that uses artificial intelligence. The baby's DNA and medical records are then cross-referenced with the worldwide database of medical and scientific data. The tool can look at all of that uh, basically in real time and come to a decision, you know, incredibly rapidly. Being able to integrate genomic testing into the NICU not only gives parents a reason for why their child is so sick, but it also gives the clinicians more information so that we can target our treatment and personalize it to that individual. Dr. Yandel said the number of unknown genetic diseases has gone up by almost a third in the last decade, and they're still discovering new ones, meaning the need for this kind of technology is growing each and every day. In Salt Lake City, Jordan Hogan, Fox 13 News, Utah.